So you know what show I've been watching again recently? Um, hmm. Is it Gigolos? No. Uh, Seek. Was was that the one? Uh, the one with um, Sean Spencer and Britton Guster. He pretends to be. Um, you mean Psych? I've heard it both ways. So, you see this world, Peter? Yeah. Guess what we can do in this world? What can we do in this world? Nothing! Really? Yeah. We've just unlocked it, yeah. despite not being able to do anything in it? Yeah. Uh, what's that green dash in the top left? That's the save point. Oh. <laughs> it's just there. Sure. It's okay, though, because we also have access to this world, where we can do things. <laughs> I actually... D Whoa. Okay. That did not uh, get picked up on uh, the recording. No. Nope. So we're good. Nope. Huh. So what were you saying? <laughs> that was strange. Tiger Temple. Okay. Um. Anyway, what I was saying was, uh, I, I, I kind of don't hate that they make you drive through a it's world. It's kind of cute, right? Like it's like this is all the stuff you get to do once you finish these other places. Yeah, it's very uh, Viridian City. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, Aztec stuff. This level's cool. Inca stuff? No, that's Aztec, right? Uh, possibly Mayan. Uh, I don't know. Look at all these. I am not some If you sort jump of... correctly here, you get lots of boosts. Also, yeah. if you jump up that. Check this shit out. No, I didn't get the weapon I needed. Shit. Damn it. Watch oh. out for fire. Sure. Where's fire? Oh, God. No. Got it. Eat a dick! You could have gotten that Wampa Fruit. I don't know what that's like if it's a uh, Wampa Fruit version. Um, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played this game. I what love it. What are you talking about? You were just playing it a couple minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Got it anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. You just. Oh, you shoot it out. Yeah. It's a. So it's a red shell? Uh, no, these are green shells. Okay. But oh, they, green they shell. Right, yeah. Sorry, they don't getting... bounce until um, you get the Wampa Fruit version. Okay, now I can show you the thing. Okay. What's up, motherfucker? What? What are you trying to do? Huh. I... I've forgotten how to get into that secret. Huh. Oh, it's right there. I was doing it in the wrong spot. Did you pass it already? Yeah. Okay. I needed a weapon anyway. Well, you had a weapon. Hey, it's a nitro. All right, so. All right, I need to catch up. Why is it called Crash Team Racing? I don't know. Because, like, the other ones, there's actual team stuff going on. In this one, there's nothing. So I guess... I it, mean, technically... Oh, they're the Crash Team. Kind of like how in Dragon Ball, it's the Z Fighters. Well, yeah, tech, that's what I was saying. Technically, the story behind this is an alien comes to Earth... Um, and unless you beat him in a race, he's gonna destroy everything. Sure, like aliens are wont to do. Yeah. Whoo! All right, can I open it with this? Ah. Ha <laughs> ha! Neat. Oh, so you get the speed boost when you hit the ground? Yes. That's cool. Okay, let's go this way. Or as some would say, that's cool. Who would say that, Peter? Annoying people. <laughs> Do you, dost thou claim otherwise? So we might. We did just both eat way too much food. Um, so we might be a little bit, a little bit slow this yeah, episode. Yeah, sure, sure. But honestly, I don't feel bad. Yeah, I'm. I think I ate the correct amount. Yeah. What it, the hell? What? Yeah. Every time. <laughs> He has bullet holes? Yeah, he got fucked up. Don't worry about it. He has a missile in his head and the bullet holes are worrying you? Well, I assume the missile was part of his head. No. He seems kind of He got hit in the head with a missile and it got lodged there. He's also a cyborg, so, you know. Well, he's a I'm cyborg, I'm just curious so the where missile. the bullet holes came from. Bullets? From a, you from can a gun? Go faster through turns by do, you know, do you know what a gun is, Peter? Go master your turn. <laughs> the power slide, press and hold. That sounds oddly Roll sexual. Button master your turn? Hard. Yeah. Hey, baby, want to see me master my turn? Yeah, no, I, 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 I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I love this level. Wall this level through. is great. Uh, hey. It's our level. 
Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you're supposed to stand still during it because it's Coco Park. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you mean you're racing... supposed to put it into park? Not yeah. Stand. We're not standing. No, standstill is a commonly used term. Oh, we're supposed to be at moving. a standstill. Okay. That too. But to stand still is to be in a standstill. Look at this fucking level. Hey, you got the speed boost. I've been getting it. I know, but you also got it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Crash. Oh, that was a bad drift. So I'm sorry, the, the an alien came in what now? Um, he, there was going to be a race tournament anyway, the alien injures himself in. He's going to destroy the planet if he don't win. I don't remember the specifics. All right. And when do you find out that the person who organized the tournament was Plankton? Um, he's not part of this. At all. That's a different franchise entirely. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Which game was there, that? Was that Nicktoon Racing? Yeah. Yeah, that game was actually pretty good. It was better than I expected it to be. It was better than it had any right to be. Because, like, to use the phrase Nicktoon we just. Oh, racing. no. Oh, no. Yeah. Can you dodge those? Um, sometimes. That's yeah. mine. Missile. Mine. That is one thing I really like about the Crash games, or what I've seen of the Crash games. Mm. The sound when you get Wampa Free. Oh, the sound design in Crash Bandicoot games are fantastic. The sound you make when you die, mm -hmm. like everything. The sound you make when you get hit. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just uh, so good. And, you know, that's something that I feel like not enough people appreciate. I mean, obviously, you know, it's not like a... Oh, I'm so much better than everyone else. I'm a else snob cause I because I like stuff. sound design. Yeah, I get you. But, like, a lot of people overlook sound. And sound can be huge oh, in yeah. video game. Um, did I tell you about the cool thing someone discovered in Mario Odyssey? Uh, you've told me about a bunch of cool uh, things. The, regarding the sound specifically, all the ambient sound in the game uh -huh. changes tone and pitch and melody, everything. It changes based on whatever song is currently playing. Oh, that's fun. So your footsteps, mm -hmm. whenever you're walking, uh, whenever you're the electricity wires, mm -hmm. the the sound that makes everything changes depending on what song is currently playing. It matches whatever is currently happening in the music track. That's kind of cool. It's so cool. Uh, oh, what was I just playing? The new Jackbox game. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the games in it survived the internet. That's a, a fun game. a little thing in it that I absolutely love. It's sound design. Yeah, I know I didn't scream, but I felt it. Uh, it's sound design was... Um... I, I can understand. Oh, okay. So whoever's in third place is all automatically looking away. Yes. Okay. Um... <clears throat> It's it's uh like it has this little thing like you remember the old like powers downloading light. from the internet Wait, yeah. image of like stuff going from black. the little globe yeah. to yeah. a folder. It has that in it, but it's set long, to the it's in sync with the, the music. That's fun, and that's boost. I don't know. That just it it feels. Well, that's what I left about watch. Baby Driver. Oh, that everything every, was in sync. Everything the gunfights, everything was in sync to the music. It yeah, was so cool. Baby Driver is what I I will stand by this. As of this moment in time, mm -hmm. um, January of 2018. Don't date it. It's going up. This Shh. Week, uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, as of January 2018, Baby Driver is, this from is a little... technical standpoint, oh. uh, Edgar oh. Wright's best movie. I agree. It's not my favorite Edgar Wright movie. It's his best directed movie. Yeah. It's yeah, from a purely techno technical standpoint. I've it hits those everything right. Hey look, it's the plants. Uh yeah, it's just Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, it was one of the only movies, I think there's like three movies in total in 2017 I saw more than once in theater. Mm -hmm. That was that was the one I saw three times in theater. <laughs> Like, I went with it, because I normally don't do that. And I went with several friends. I'm like, no, no, no. Watch this movie. I will go watch it again with you. Well, to be fair, Movie Pass helps. But that was before I had Movie Pass. Was it? Yes. Oh, it was, yeah. I paid for that movie three times. I've only done that with two movies, one of which I'm happy about. Which one? Hey. So, 
shit. Yeah, you needed to turn there. So I... I saw Avengers, Marvel's The Avengers, <laughs> five times Are in you crazy? Theaters, uh, when it first came out. Because I Damn it. love that movie. That movie is, like, the perfect superhero movie for me. Because I think it's one of the few movies that did team up right. I can see that. Um, I'm also a big fan of Joss Whedon's writing and his directing. I don't know. It just it hit all the right beats for me. That being said, the other movie that I saw in theaters three times. Oh, I did that real bad. I just let him catch right back up. And I'm not happy about seeing it once in theaters, let, it go, let alone three times. Which is, which is it? Uh, I want to judge you harshly. So, I saw it on my own once. Okay. Didn't really like it, but I didn't realize how much I hated it until a few... Re a few re is this Suicide Squad? No. Suicide Squad I only saw once in theaters, and that was too many times. But, uh... Got him. I... We, we saw... So I had seen it, and I already didn't like it. My friend... Uh hadn't seen the movie yet, and said, you know, oh, we wanted to go see a movie, and he's like, oh, I really want to see this one. And I'm like, it's it's not great. And he's like, no, I really want to see it. Oh, God. And, um, uh, i like, really, you, you you probably won't like it. He's like, yeah, but it sounds more fun than the other one that we might go see. Fine, sure, we'll see it. Because I just wanted to see a movie. I had mm -hmm. been having a bad day, and I figured bad movie was better than no movie, and that is not the case here. And then... My mother came to visit, to get around a tight and she's a big fan of this franchise. Face, okay, quickly. let me think, let me think. And she says that she wants to see this movie, and I'm like, it's square. really not great. No, forward. but, you know, I, I, I still kind of want to see it. Okay, fine. Sure, we can go see this movie, because, you know, I'm easily guilted into things. And we see it, and each additional viewing of this movie, I hate it more and what more. What could Peter have seen three times? Because... I keep noticing how pitch stupid perfect too. every no god no. I've only seen <laughs> the first one and I have issues with pitch perfect. Uh, but no. I ah, this movie. It it, okay. it 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 does horribly for the franchise. Uh Damn. if you want I can give you some hints as to what it is. Wait, wait, wait. Just check out what does this level aesthetic look like to you? Oh, this is a uh, Roadrunner cartoon. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it cool? Yeah. It's very much a Roadrunner cartoon. And it has this cool water section. I like Jet Moto. We need to play Jet Moto. I have it. <laughs> it's sitting underneath of us right now. Oh, that was close. Jet oh, such no, a no, 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 no. Weird okay. game. Jet Moto like, is a great game. It is, but like from concept standpoints. It's such a weird game. Fuck. So close. It's okay. Fuck you're not all y'all. No, now you're last. Not anymore. Hey. But yeah. Okay. So do you want some hints as to what the movie yeah, was? Yeah, sure. Here's okay. So it is the. What? Oh no. I, I might lose this race. I'm doing really bad. Tech. It is a prequel to a very popular franchise that alone had two, arguably three, good movies in it. The first movie and the second movie are very different from one another, and people tend to prefer one over the other. Hmm. Uh, the movie that I saw in theaters three times was directed by the person who had directed the original in the series. It also has probably one of the worst delivered lines I have ever heard of Charlie's Theron. Spoilers. Looking at someone and just name drop and just dropping the word father. I don't know this movie. Prometheus. Oh god. Fuck don't no. <laughs> no. I saw Prometheus. Why? 3 times in theaters. 
I actually lost respect for several coworkers that enjoyed Prometheus. You got second place. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It's... It's just not a good movie. Um, I'm not shitting on anyone who likes that movie. It's a bad movie and you shouldn't like, but that's not the point. The point is, it oh, is not... Oh, I like this. Yeah. So if you... You start okay. in whatever place you were at. Nice. Um, How many times do you have to do the race? Just once. Oh, okay, so the fact that you failed makes you want to do it again. Yeah. Okay. Um, my problem with Prometheus, apart from the obvious stupidity of every single character in it, is it's not... It's in no way tonality or anything an Aliens movie. Like, they... Or, or an Alien movie. Or an Alien movie. We're having Sorry. some... Yeah, our video just cut out for a second. Um... Well, that's the thing. You, like, Alien and Aliens are two completely different movies. Yes, but, like... Oh, shit. Yeah, I was wondering if that would hurt you. Yeah. It did. It doesn't... They feel like they're in the same franchise. To me, sure. Prometheus did not. Prometheus felt like a knockoff of said franchise. Sure. Um, I'm kind of curious... I have not seen the new Alien movie. How it happened? Let's be fair, we had Alien 3 also. Yeah, but like, Alien 3 was done by... Uh... No, 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 okay. Is Alien 3 or Alien 4 the one that was done by the director of Amelie? I don't think it was Alien 4. Oh my god, I might lose this one too. Oh no, Alien 3 was... Uh, Alien 3 uh, was Ridley Scott, wasn't it? No, no, Ridley Scott was Alien 1. Alien 2 was... Uh, uh, not John Carpenter. Um, uh, fuck, Avatar. James Cameron. James Cameron. Alien 3 was... Uh... Fincher. Oh, fuck. David Fincher. Which, like, I really like David Fincher. And the depressing thing that was Alien 3 is a very David Fincher movie. And Alien 4... No! <laughs> you, you got second again. Uh, Alright, I think... I, no, we're gonna keep going. What are you talking are about? Yeah, it's two minutes. Okay. What are you fun? Go for it. This is sub your last minute try. episode. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a very David Fincher movie. And then the fourth one, they decide to go for the director of Amelie, which already seems like a weird choice, paired with the writings of Joss Whedon, who... Yeah, I blame Joss Whedon entirely. I think it's a variety of problems with Alien. Uh, but, like, the four. script wasn't good. It w Well, the script for Alien 4 would have been fine if you cut out everything involving aliens. <laughs> but also realize, you didn't even say good. You said fine. Yeah, no, it obviously wasn't its best work. Uh, honestly, I consider Alien 4 is part of my um, mantra when it comes to uh, people and things. Hmm. Um, Joss Whedon did Alien 4. Michael Bay did The Rock. Yeah. That's that's honestly kind of how... my that, That's my general outlook on life. By the way, if no one's seen The Rock, go watch The Rock. It's a really good movie. It's probably one of my favorite action movies. Sean Con my, one of my favorite Sean Connery movies. Yeah, it's a great Sean Connery movie. It's a great action movie. It's a great Nicolas Cage movie. It's one uh, of Nicolas Cage's first action movies. What was the first action movie? It was... Was Con Air before The Rock? I think so. I remember Bruce Willis's first action movie was Die Hard. And it was amazing. Yep. Did I, have, I haven't told that. So... Did you know oh God, that, was close. that Die Hard, the novel that the movie is based off of, yes. is a sequel? I did. Yes. So you know this fact? Uh, I knew it's a sequel. I don't remember what it's a sequel oh, to. Oh, right. The original sequel, the, they made a movie for it way back when, and Frank Sinatra was the lead actor for that movie. That seems like a weird choice, but go So on. when they proposed doing Die Hard, they were contractually obligated to offer um, Bruce Willis's role to Frank Sinatra first, who was 70 at the time. That's funny. So we could have had a Die Hard starring a 70-year-old Frank Sinatra instead of Bruce Willis. Were they contractually obligated? Because it's they a were different character. They contractually obligated. It, it, but like, no, sorry. I'm thinking of Die Hard 3. Yeah, it's the same characters in 1 and 2. Well, 
It's the same characters in the original novel and the sequel that is Die Hard. Do you know the story behind Die Hard 3? No. So Die Hard with a Vengeance was not originally supposed to be... We did it. See? See, Peter? Oh, God. Why do you make me see? Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. Look at all of their eyes. Well, not his eyes. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. You're going to tell Die Hard after this. I, I think I'm going to tell it Yeah. Time. I understand why Cortex feels so bad and so inadequate. He lost a go-kart race to a polar bear. 